Hey guys, what's up? It's Dylan Godino from LaughSpin.com. I am here in Grand Rapids, Michigan at LaughFest. Next to me is comedian Moshe Kasher. Moshe, thanks so much for being with me. I'll just take a drink of your coffee. Please do. And? This is really good. It's Taster's Choice, ladies and that gentlemen. That is very good. This whole time it's been Taster's Choice. That is very good. It's, it's been great to see your evolution over the last few years. Um, From HIV positive to full-blown AIDS. Yes, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, it's been so nice to feel that. It's, 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 it's been nice to see your deterioration. <laughs> Thank you your, so much, um, yeah, thanks. Uh, but I'm back, y'all, I'm back. Yeah, What's up? so you're okay now. Yeah, you've got yeah. The, can't you've got stay the, away from the game. You've got the Magic Johnson kind of <laughs> cocktail right. in yeah. you and yeah, yeah. you're healthier than ever. So Moshe's healthier than ever. Do you have uh, your book? Uh, it's called Casher, Casher in the Rye. Right. Uh, now, I, 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 I'm pretty sure I read a book called Catcher in the Rye. Oh, there's a, oh, that's weird. So. I didn't even, there's another book that's similarly yeah. titled. That's interesting. Yeah. Definitely something I should have thought about, I guess. You, you've been through, you've been through some shit, Moshe. Sure. Um, summarize your life in 30 seconds. Uh, pop and pussy. You've got like 28 more seconds. <laughs> you could say pop and pussy a, like a bunch more times. more times. No, I, okay, well the book is about um, my childhood. It's my childhood memoir. Uh, you know, the title is Casher in the Rye and the subtitle is The True Tale of a White Boy from Oakland Who Became a Drug Addict, Criminal, Mental Patient and Then Turned 16. Right. So that gives you a snapshot of what the book's about. It's yeah. about my ridiculous life growing up in Oakland. All these kind of weird elements led to my eventual uh, destruction as a youth, which is becoming just a little childhood drug addict and getting locked up and going to mental institutions. And then everything got better. And now I'm a stand-up comedian. So, wow, that's... Is that, that's 30 seconds, right? That's, I, that's, that's nice. I wanted to read uh, a passage. Sure. Somewhere around that time, I found a well of fear to jump into. I felt so different, I ached. I'd been in therapy for years at that point, and I was only seven. I just knew something was fundamentally wrong with me. I became obsessed with the fear that someone would figure all of this out and expose me for the broken piece of human machinery that I was. I was terrified of everything. My feral snarling slowly started to give way to a pool of fear. I transitioned smoothly from angry, out-of-control kid into frightened, out-of-control kid. I was seven years old, and I was sure I was shit. That's not the funniest passage no. in the book. I mean, there's stuff there, and that stuff is tr unfortunately true, you know? I mean, l I want to clarify to the people that are watching that this is a comedy. I mean, mostly. The, 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 this is a funny book, but it is also, uh, I looked at the, as, at the humor as a kind of trap. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a distraction method that you're looking at these jokes, and then all of a sudden you find yourself in a very dark, kind of claustrophobic place. You know, the good news about the book is it's a rough and raw book. But of course, you know that the narrator is me. Right. And that everything turned out at least partially OK. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I mean, look at you. Partially? Come on now. Yeah, you're right. Look at this sweater. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right. Currently, Moshe, what is your favorite smartphone application? Uh, well, what I've got right now is, uh, can you get in on that? It's the Spiderweb app, which is pretty neat. Can you, are you picking up on that? So the Spiderweb app, all you have to do, it's free, you just drop your phone on concrete. Okay, Yeah. I like it, I like it. The one website. Youporn.com. Okay. Do you kind of stray to a certain uh, area? BBW. Let me ask you this, Youporn is, is a popular answer. Have you tried RedTube.com? RedTube, LobsterTube, LobsterTube? Do you know I've never that? heard of LobsterTube. LobsterTube, Youporn, MosheCasher.com. Uh, there's a lot of really great places that you can go. Okay. Uh, and finally, Moshe, wh when was the last time you cried? The last time I cried um, was when I finished the book Casher in the Rye, available March 28th on Grand Central Publications, Amazon.com. Order yours today. I see what you did there. Yeah. That was very nice. <laughs> Moshe, thank you so much uh, for sitting for with me. me. Bye, guys. This is Moshe Kasher. I'm Dylan Gadina from LastMan.com. Make sure you go to MosheKasher.com. At Moshe Kasher on Twitter. Uh, listen to my podcast, The Champs, me and Neil Brennan. So if you're a white person and you want to know what black people are like, please tune in. And if you're a black person and you want to hear what white people are like when they timidly interview black people, please tune in. 
if you are a non-white, non-black person, you are not welcome to listen to our podcast. Understood. Yeah. Thank no, you, please, Moshe. Everybody. Thank you for having Thank me. Thank you very much. Bye. Thanks. Bye, guys. Bye my book.